So when opportunity comes knocking, I open the door with a smile. Sometimes you need a little help, though. Competition can be fierce in this business. Lucky for me, I know just the right people for the job. I met them a while back in Baton Rouge. They helped me withdraw a little money from the local bank. <laughs> Can't say we parted on the best of terms, but I've never let that stop me before. And fortunately, I know just the man to help me regain their trust. Here we are, sweetie pie. See? I told you I'd get us here. Oh, Hector. I just knew you'd be the right man for the job. No offense, but I'm glad I'm off that boat. Come on. Let's go through the plan one more time. Right. As you all know, our dear friend Vincent DeVitt has a secret vault full of money hidden on this very estate. And we are here to collect. To that end, you will make your way around the main building to the front yard. As expected, this place is swarming with looters. So I suggest you keep your head down. Hey, look. There's an outfit for Kate. Or maybe you want to try that on, honey. Maybe a little later, Hector. <laughs> yeah, right. Sorry. We can pick up Cooper along the way. He should be there by now. He better be. I was promised the whole gang. Either way, make your way to the statue in the front yard. Apparently it has a hidden switch that will reveal the vault. I'm sure you'll find it now you know what to look for. Hey, look. Another outfit for Kate. You'd look good in that one, too. Oh, Hector, you are just as sweet as a toothache. All right. Get to the statue, find the switch, clear the vault. Simple enough. I'll be here at the boat until you return. That's right. And no tricks or surprises this time. I'll keep my eye on you until I have my money. Mm -hmm. I'm sure you will. Don't keep me waiting. Stay here. Keep low. These guys don't look friendly. You'll be harmless. Trust me, I've seen much worse. So, Hector, you and Rosie? Isn't she lovely? Ever since Baton Rouge, our hearts have been aching for each other. Is that right? Oh, come on, Doc. There must be a romantic bone somewhere in your body. There isn't. Trust me, I'm a doctor. I got the tools for the job. Way to the statue. I can't wait to get back to my Rosie. She's just as adorable as she was on that first night when we all had drinks together. Oh, you mean when she drugged us and made us turn the whole town upside down? Ah, oh, what a great night that was. Hey, Kate, you see the lady? Those clothes would fit me nicely. I get the feeling you can wear pretty much anything. Well, thank you, Doc. Why, well, thank you, darling. That's nice of you. Hey, I've got some Sorry, hon, but I'll be quite busy this evening. Oh, 
harmless. Trust me. Listen, if anyone gets rough with me, call me. Got it? Don't worry, huh? Big shot? Guys like you all need your touch, right? Damn right. Oh, I can imagine. Hey, should you be digging somewhere? Hey, shouldn't you be guarding something? Dress. It's really nice. Well, thank you, darling. That's nice of you. Hey, I'll buy some good time later and... Sorry, hon, but I'll be quite busy this evening. Let's hope Cooper's at the rendezvous. Uh, why is he late anyway? He was on a bank job with a certain Sam Williams when your message came. Williams? Never heard of him. Don't worry. I'm sure John's gonna introduce you someday. Mm-hmm. Let's see. Wait, let's fetch Cooper before we play around with this thing. Oh, uh, good idea. So how do we find this switch? Maybe scratch his balls? I ain't gonna touch the crown jewels, thank you very much. I'm sure it can't be too hard to find. There we go. What the hell? Oh, for God's sake, Jimmy, stop This is it, boys. Looks like one of you idiots finally made it happen. Butch, come here. Get this damn thing open, will ya? Own it, boss. What's it look like, Smoke? I doubt they'll get that thing open anytime soon. Can you crack it? <laughs> Why do you even ask? All right. Then let's clear the area so you can get to work. Of us used to work. Oh, I see. One less to worry about. 
out. <laughs> Feels like old times. It's been three months. Don't tell me you're getting nostalgic already. Oh, I missed you too, Doc. I'm telling you, ain't nothing back there. Sue, I can feel it in my bones. Right there's the spot. Keep digging. Afraid of what the DeVitt family will do when they find out? The De DeVitt family? What are you talking about? Oh, nothing. So, how long have you been here? A couple weeks. But with all the work, time flies by, right? Oh, I can imagine. used to work for the bit. He was at work. Oh, I see. Oh, 
Aren't you afraid of what the DeWitt family will do in your kingdom? The DeWitt family? Oh, nothing. Ah, uh, don't worry. You'll see when they find it. Aw, no fair. We got places to be.
What? What's wrong? Ugh, the damn thing is empty. All that's in here is a note. Let's fetch Cooper and head back to Rosie. She better have an explanation for this. Welcome back. There she is. <laughs> Amigo, say hello to my lovely Rosie. Well, hey there, miss. Sorry I don't remember you from Baton Rouge. My memory, you know, is a bit hazy. Oh, don't you trouble your little head, Mr. Cooper. <laughs> it happens to the best of us. Rosie, the vault was empty. All we found was a note. Oh, I feared as much. Can I see it? You telling me you knew this would happen? I had a hunch. Now, let's see. What does it say, honey? To whomever low-life scum this may concern. I suggest you remove yourself from my brother's property and go back to digging in the dirt where you belong. Signed, Magnus Hieronymus DeWitt. <laughs> Looks like the hunt is just getting started. Nobody ever did anything just for money. I admit, sometimes it's hard to justify the lengths I go to. Snatching Vincent DeWitt's hidden wealth from under a few looters' noses sounded easy enough. 
Turns out his brother Magnus cleared out the vault long before we came. <laughs> Lucky for us, I know where to find Magnus DeVitt. Though I hadn't planned on returning to Louisiana for quite some time. Piss off! And don't you just come back again! No luck. Unsurprisingly, Mr. DeVitt will not receive us. Was that guy mean to you? I'm gonna twist his head off. Relax, darling. We'll just have to resort to plan B. Sounds like you could use a bit of a helping hand. Boo! Oh. Just so you know, I put in a good word for you. That's mighty sweet of you, sunshine. Why, hello there, Rosie. Isabel, so good to see you again. That's so. Uh... Please, I was just about to explain the plan, if you don't mind. By all means. Right. Now, as far as I know, Mr. DeVitt is currently on the roof of his mansion. Head up there and make him tell you where the money is. A warning, though. You'll need a key to get up there. You'll find it in the garden. There should also be one or two disguises around, if you wish to use one. Pretty well informed, as always. See, I told you we could always count on my Rosie. Why, thank you, Hector. Now, I will be waiting here, as usual. Good luck. Sunshine, would you do me a favor and keep an eye on my old friend here? For her own safety, of course. Of course. Don't worry, Doc. She's great company. Oh, I bet. So, you're working with Rosie Adams. I hope you know what you're in for. Oh, we do. I actually had a little encounter with her back in Baton Rouge. Wait, don't tell me she's the one who put something in your drink? <laughs> yeah, I still don't remember how we got that cow on the roof. Well, let's focus on getting inside. Okay, I'm in. Hey, listen, don't worry about the workers here. I sent word we are coming. They're not gonna ride us out. Well, sounds like you got a few friends around here. Huh. Let's call it a reputation. Fancy house. Did that cost a fortune? Can you imagine living in a place like that? Uh, I don't know. It's a bit too big and fancy for my taste. Me too. If I'm never gonna settle down, it's gonna be in my own little saloon. Hey, how about that balcony? Sure looks like a nice shortcut into the garden. You know, if we had Doc, this would all be a lot easier. Sure. But where's the fun in that? You know your way around. How come? I may have stopped by, but once or twice. Keeping an eye on the rest of the Vitz family. Rosie said someone here has a key to the mansion. And a disguise from Wong. Yeah. She knows a lot more than me. To be fair, that's not a very high bar. Don't 
guess we're in. Next up, DeVitt. Hmm? Who are you? Anyone here? No, wait, let me guess. You belong to the riffraff who's after my little brother's money, correct? Hmm. Now, who might you be? You wouldn't perchance have cracked open a safe on my brother's estate and found my little letter inside? You guessed it. Good, good. I have long deduced that someone might come to claim Vincent's belongings. Oh, he's pretty smart. Don't interrupt. Where was I? Ah, oh, yes. That's why I have hidden the money in a well-guarded place, far away from here. Oh, great. Alas, not even I know how to find it. Only a map can show the way. Then hand it over. But, in order to prevent any theft, I have split the map into five pieces. I have entrusted my highest ranking men with four of the pieces. The fifth piece, I carry myself. Take it if you wish. As I'm sure you realize by now, you will never get the rest. Your endeavor is futile. Are you finished? Quite so. Good. Now hand over that map piece. Fine. My men will pick it off your corpses later. Now, if you would be so kind and leave me to my thoughts. Hmm. I don't think so. Who says you ain't gonna call the guards on us the moment we leave? Oh, please. Like I have nothing better to do. Now hush. I have to ponder the plans for my new vineyard. What are you waiting for? Go get yourself a new Think of better places to live. There's a commotion at the little chapel. I wonder if that guard will keep the map. <laughs> 
Well, looks like a piece of that map. We have two now. Three more to go. I hope my Rosie is okay. Honestly, I'd worry more about Doc. Oh, so much for him. <laughs> Whatever he does, you better hold on to it. Pretty busy around here. The guy way in the back should have a map piece. I think I got another map piece. Three down, two to go. I could get used to this. Traveling the country, hunting down clues. Huh. Wait till you're my age. Looks pretty cramped. One of the guys in there should have a piece of the map. Well, what do you say? Another map piece. That makes <laughs> one left. I really hope there's something at the bottom of this rabbit hole. Well, if not, at least we know who to blame. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Big fields. Lots of cover. That big guy up on the cotton press. He's got one of the map pieces. Fucking waste of time. This ain't funny. All right. Don't get noisy. My Rosie must be getting, getting sick. Away. Uh, who knows? Maybe she's just no getting real surprises. intimate with Doc. <laughs> with Doc? <laughs> <laughs> <Fuck's sake. laughs> hey, good hey, one. Coming back. Good now, now, boys. Let's behave until we get out of here. Right. It's high time we make our exit. Listen, before we head out, I think you should know something about me and Rosie. What are you talking about? Back in New Orleans? I was her supplier for certain things. You know, herbs, potions, that kind of stuff. Not long before you and I met, she asked me for a certain drug. Puts a man right out of his mind. My point is, I'm pretty sure that stuff she put in your drinks in Baton Rouge came from me. Sorry about that. Oh, don't worry, Belle. Without you, I'd never have met my Rosie. Yeah. That's one way of putting it. Sure is. <laughs> no idea. But I wouldn't put it past him. Ah, that's just wonderful. How much do we have? We don't know yet, but we got a map that'll lead us to the money. Is that supposed to be a joke? Come on, Sunshine. Just a little bit longer and you'll never have to see me again. I know who I want to see again. <laughs> uh, here we go. I knew you wouldn't disappoint me, my handsome, unwashed little Texan bear. <laughs> Easy as pie, my sweetie pie. You're taking the whole map thing rather well. Come on, Cooper. One grumpy old man is enough for this party. I'm not old. 
Oh my. What is it, honeybee? The map says the money is in a place called Eagle's Nest. It looks like an old fortress or something. <sighs> Won't be easy getting in there. Hmm, really? Eagle's Nest. <laughs> What the hell? Think we lost him. I know that place! And I know how we get in there. <laughs> oh no. No way. What? Your plans always suck. No they don't. Yes they do. Remember that damn minecart with the gunpowder? That was your plan. I wanted dynamite. It worked, didn't it? Now listen, here's what we're gonna do. Oh, this can't be good. Nobody ever did anything just for money. I'm starting to believe that myself. We've gone to quite some lengths to hunt down DeVitt's lost riches. Hidden vaults, treasure maps, and now a fortress in the desert. Even worse, I'm starting to enjoy the company. <laughs> Mother would be shocked. Anyway... He is hoping that the plan my dear old Hector came up with doesn't kill us all. Why can't I be the one with a plan for once, amigo? I swear this is the last time I'm gonna help that stupid ox. All right then. No ammo, no backup, no problem. Shit, gotta make sure nobody's watching when I cut him loose. Be a lot easier without this damn suit. Let's 
Look around. Look at the safe work. Come on out. Your tracks, asshole. I'm gonna stay right here. Your ass is mine. <laughs> So, how's that plan of yours looking now? Got it? All right, amigo. Listen up. The best part starts now. You're still trying to tell me this is all part of your plan? Of course it is. Just listen. Me and Rosie are pretty sure they keep the money in that tower. All we have to do is get in there, crack the lock on the door, and bingo. And how exactly are we going to crack the lock? You think it's a coincidence they took Doc inside after they caught him? I think you should put off on that whiskey you have in your flask. <sighs> okay. So, Doc's in there. Fine. How are we supposed to get in there? We use the cannon. That thing? Who says it's even loaded? <laughs> There's a box of cannonballs right around here. We just gotta carry it to the cannon and boom. Great, but what about Kate and Isabel? Well, Isabel is up there. I think they're all still scared of her after that show she put on. And Kate is over there. I think the big guy has fallen in love with her. <laughs> Idiot. She better change out of that wedding dress, though. And that's about it. Open the gate, free dock, get into the tower, and hello retirement. And maybe free the others who are about to get killed because of you. Sure, maybe that too. Keeping Isabel here. Great plan, by the way, having her act like an evil witch. <laughs> right? Everyone here shit their pants. Oh, for sure. I think I even heard them talk about burning her at the stake. All part of the plan, amigo. I hear they even got swamp witches down in Baton Rouge. Ain't no swamp witch coming around here, that's for sure. Yes, we'll have to burn you at the stake, of course. What do you do with a witch? Burn her, right? I say burn her. Suit. Let's hurry. Rosie is waiting. <laughs> Hector, come on now. How can you not see she's playing you? <laughs> What's wrong, amigo? Are you worried she'll break my heart? You ask me, she's long gone. It's Baton Rouge all over again. No, it's gonna be different this time. Trust me, amigo. The hell? Who's tracks in those? Who's There's that crate of yours. It looks heavy. <laughs> Sounds like a job for Hector. Well, if you strain your back, I ain't gonna carry it. <laughs> Watch me, amigo. Keep looking. 
How old are you? I'm gonna have my fun with you. Anybody find anything? You better not I be heard in something. there. Show yourself. Just wait. I'll get you. You're in big trouble. Oh, we back. What was that? It, what? Not my back. Oh, sure. Wasted time. Oh, where did he go now? Guess they're gone for now. Are you hiding from me? Whatever it is that I did, I'm sorry, all right? Ah, cannon. Let's load it and crack that fortress. <laughs> hey, I heard that. Who's there? Throw the package here. You show yourself! Hey. <laughs> Ready for action. Let's give him hell. Let's get this over. Uh, you got fire, amigo? I got a track here. What the? Leonard! Go get Hardy and the boys. Yes, boss. Eyes peeled, men. Nobody gets in. Down the fort. Got it. Huh? You got anything to do with that bounty? That rouge. Ain't no. Relax. Just give me a second. <laughs> Hector, I'm gonna need some hair from you later. Oh, sure. <laughs> For what? Oh, nothing. Now shut up and let's get this over with. Great job scaring them, by the way. You got the real talent. Old. Come on! Show some balls! Better run off before I hurt you. Around? Yeah. We need what? Oh, let God. Go. Something. What's that? Sounds like Morgan's gonna have some with him. I oh, 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 oh. Poof! Exploded right in his face. <laughs> well, don't worry. The priest will be here soon. What? Hey. Huh? Who left those tracks? She just walks Let's up Let's just have a look around. Say... <laughs> You're in big trouble. I see Kate. I can't believe you talked her into proposing to that guy. <laughs> right? Rosie loved the idea, too. Oh, I bet she did. That's why she's here right now, helping us. Relax, amigo. Just you scared? Wait. You took your sweet time. Don't worry. I got you. God, this is embarrassing. Bye. Remind me never to listen to one of your plans again. Come on, Kate. You did great. <laughs> that big guy even called the priest. Can someone please shut him up before I forget myself? Huh? What, what did I say? Let's just move on. Come here, 
tracks. Which tracks are those? Okay, let's get this over with. Come on. If we cut through here, we get to the fortress. Wouldn't mind taking the clothes off that lady so I can disguise myself. All right. They brought that shady fella in. Oh, I ain't so easy. And you guys, hold down the fort. Huh? Yeah. Who left those tracks? Something. This is gonna be big. Who's leaving tracks? All right, come on. Let's find Doc. Ah, Eagle's Nest. Funny being back. <laughs> hey, do you know any of the guys here? Nah, these guys are new. There's always fighting over who owns this place. Uh-huh. So, who's gonna move in next? I hear old Diego wants the place for his son. Guess we're making things easy for him. <laughs> you holding up just cut the damn rope that was the first and last time i ever listened to any of your plans hush doc if anyone hears us now the plan goes to shit i'm gonna shoot him right now not if i get to him first Let's meet up inside and see what we've got. Uh, noisy bastards. <laughs> Easy as pie. Now, let's have a look. <laughs> Hector? What? You? are a genius i am oh i am <laughs> that's gotta be at least let's see we can count it later right now we gotta get out of here before you piece of shit whoever you are i'm gonna rip you to pieces
So, are they part of your plan too? Come on, baby, you got this. And voila. Give him hell, darling. That's my girl. I see. Gatlin Gun Massacre. Followed by a leisurely stroll to the horses. Not a bad plan. See? He gets it. One more word, and I'm gonna put another bullet in you. Let him carry out the chest first. Fair point. Let's do it. This is nothing. <laughs>
not kidding. Yourself out. Hey, put a cork there. <laughs> what a ride! I knew you were gonna pull it off, darling. I wouldn't have without your smart little head. Let's fetch the others and have a whiskey, shall we? You know what? First round's on me. Why, thank you, Doctor, but after all the work you did, I do believe drinks are on me. Well, don't worry, miss. I insist. But I put you through so much trouble. That's fine, really. Well, how about I buy the first round and you can buy the second? <laughs> you have yourself a deal. Hey, amigo. I asked Rosie to write this for me. You know I'm no good with letters. I bet you're pretty pissed right now. I don't blame you. I'd be too. Thing is, I'm real shit at saying goodbye. So I thought, hell, why not this way? We had a good thing going. We got Frank and got him good. He even stole that rich prick's money in the end. But I gotta quit while I'm ahead. And Rosie? Well, she's nice to me, so why not take the chance? If you wanna come after me, I don't blame you. But I got a feeling you won't. I hope I'm right. Keep your head straight, amigo. One of us has to. And say hello to the others for me. Hector. So they took all the money? Every single penny. Son of a bitch! P.S. Shame I can't see Doc's face right now. Mm -hmm. 